What is up guys? This is Jay here, Jay Media One, and we are back with another product, Tech Review. And today we got the JTEC Digital. This is a RGB vertical mouse, and it's supposed to be more ergonomically designed in order to help you refrain from some carpal tunnel issues. If you're a long-term gamer, or if you're just working a lot, this could help a lot. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox this. And then we are going to hook it up to the computer. I'm going to show you guys that. And then after that, we're going to go over some tech specs. So first, let's take it out of the box. Like I said, this is a RGB wired vertical mouse. So it stands vertically, straight up and down. There's just this flap here at the top. <coughs> Classically, I forgot my knife, so we're going to just rip it open. And take it out of here. And we see that it's got some bubble wrap, this little rest or stand for it. <coughs> we got a classic twisty tie. We're going to untwist that. Get it out of the bubble wrap. And it is a really, really weirdly shaped looking mouse. So this thing does stand straight up. And it's got this weird design, but there's a couple click buttons here. You can click this one down or up. And that's where your thumb is going to sit. <coughs> and on the side we got a wheel. And we got two more clicky buttons over here. Of course, their advertisement, JTEC Digital. I like the J in that. And then underneath, we have the on-off switch. We have some of these pads that it can slide easily across. And we got a button down here. Classic USB-A cable. Nothing super fancy there. And if I put my hand on it, <coughs> it feels a little strange. Of course... You're used to a traditional mouse, so this is going to feel a little bit different, but it does feel strange. Where the thumb sits, or at least where my thumb sits, it seems to be right in between the buttons, so I'm not clicking them. But I do have a pretty wide thumb, so if I just tap my thumb down, just move it slightly either direction, I can hit either one of those buttons pretty easily. Um, if you have smaller fingers, that might be a little bit more difficult. On the other side, where you're your middle finger sits and your ring finger sits. Um, <coughs> that portion of it, again, is really easy to, to tap. So you, you move this mouse, you know, back and forth like this. So your hand is not sitting on top of the mouse. It's now sitting in this direction. And I can honestly say that this does not feel too bad. It actually feels pretty decent. So what we're going to do now, um, you, you also have this little resting stand, actually. We'll talk about that. There's some grooves in the bottom of this. And this just sits inside of here. And then it pops up like that. And this could be an extender actually. If you put your palm on top of it, it actually feels pretty good. So I actually dig that. It feels really nice to move around. It actually feels super, super comfortable. How we're going to interact with it, it's something that we're going to have to get used to because we're not used to using a mouse like this. But I think that overall, it's it's definitely going to help. I don't feel like my, my wrist is strained at all here. And I feel like it, it will slide real easy. It does feel a little awkward right now, but I think that's something that we'll be able to get over. So we're going to plug it in, check it out, see how it works. Okay, guys, we are back. And we are now using this mouse instead of our normal mouse and we got a program loaded up here paint and we're going to check it out see if it's easy to use so in order to left click you have to tap this top button here so if we left click click there i'm just trying to move it around trying to draw somewhat of a circle it's super sensitive to movement so it does um, pick up as I move very very quickly I'm sure you can change that in settings but it doesn't feel too bad 
If I move around the screen here, it feels pretty good on my wrist. The lower button doesn't seem to be doing anything in this program, but this is should be right click. Um, and then you, of course you got your two buttons over here. You can probably key map this to however you like. So let me just try to move around the screen a little bit. Big circles and you can see I'm barely moving my hand around here to make these circles big. So if I just move my hand just a little bit. I get a circle about that size right there. I'll try to use the paint bucket here. Yeah, it's going to take, definitely going to take some time to get used to this. But I think overall it's pretty cool. It does work pretty good. And I think if you spent some time with it, and you messed around with it a little bit, it would be a lot easier to get used to. And then at that point, you would you would definitely have a more comfortable feeling. I'm just so used to my hand being over top of the mouse that this is like super unfamiliar territory. But it's not uncomfortable. It does get... I mean, it is really easy to hold. It's easy to move around, but you're moving in just a different orientation, it feels like, because you're trying to push and pull instead of you, your hand just dropping down on top of it so it's it's probably more psychological than anything but it does feel a lot different Try a little bit of red here and the select tool if I'm trying to move to an object like this circle here and I'm just trying to get directly to it it feels a little weird and I think that's because you're using different muscles at the same time I feel like I want to try to hold my um, try to lift my hand up off the table and I'm not sure exactly why I want to do that but I do feel like I want to lift up on this a little bit so let's just try one more thing try to make a shape go here I'm also noticing that I'm wanting to put my pinky down, push my pinky down on the table while I'm doing this. Not sure why that is either, but it's definitely not, it's just not that natural feeling, but of course I've used a mouse since I can remember, so this is definitely a different feeling. Um, next we're going to check out some key specs on this. And then we can go from there and decide if this is something that you guys want to check out. Okay guys, so we're here at Amazon's website and we can see the JTEC Digital Vertical Ergonomic Mouse wired with Chroma RGB, LED coloring and adjustable DPI settings for gaming. I'll get back to that and show you the RGB setting. We didn't go over that yet. Um, the palm rest is what we've already seen and there's also the thumb buttons there. If you look at here, it talks about the ergonomic design and that it's designed to be utilized in a neutral handshake wrist and arm position to make the mouse movement smoother. Um, it does have five adjustable DPI settings. Uh, you can switch between, it looks like 800, 1200, 1600, 2400, and 4000. So that's pretty, pretty sensitive, but if, again, you can adjust the DPI. And all that's going to do is make the mouse more or less sensitive depending on what kind of environment you're in. Uh, the palm rest is removable if you don't like it. Of course, we can actually kind of like it. Um, the cool part about this is it is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, XP, Vista, and Linux. And that pretty much allows it to go across all operating systems except for Mac. And we haven't really checked out Mac yet to see. Other than that, we're looking at the price point here of $29.95, which is not too bad. And next, we'll come back to the mouse and we'll see if we can get that RGB to work so you guys can check out that. Okay guys, we are back and we got the mouse here. 
And if you look underneath the mouse, there's a button here on and off. And what that does is it turns on your RGB. So the minute you turn that on, you got the RGB here. And it starts glowing different colors. There's this cool little purple line that goes around it. And then it changes to blue. And it just goes all the way through the color spectrum, which is pretty neat. The DPI setting is this button here. So if you tap this button, you can make it more or less sensitive when you're moving it around, which is nice. Um, I like my DPI fairly high, but that's also on a normal mouse. So this one I would probably have to play with it and see what works out best for me. Other than that, guys, that's it. I mean, it does have a great feel to it. It definitely works right out of the box. You don't really have to mess with it too much. If you like the RGB, you have the RGB. You can adjust the DPI. The only thing you have to get used to is that vertical position. But I definitely think that it would work out in the long run to have your hand in this position once you get used to using this mouse. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, like it, subscribe. Check out JMedia1 at jaymedia1.com. And check out some of my other videos. I'll have a link up here in the video for that. Later, guys.